The Rams open the season Monday night against the San Francisco 49ers in Santa Clara. With the Los Angeles Times, this is Gary Klein. I'm Lindsay Theory. And when they take the field Monday night, it's not going to be behind the quarterback. Many expected to be several months ago, Jared Goff. He won't even dress. The number one quarterback, they'll go to his hometown. He'll be on the sideline. It's going to be Case Keenum, who started 15 games in his career. Much of the time a backup, Gary. He's now the starter. Case Keenum has never started an opener. This is the point he wanted to get in his career. He's finally here. They're at San Francisco. This is where the Rams finished their season last year, and it ended with an overtime loss. So Keenum is excited to get an opportunity to get out there and show he's capable of being a number one. A strength of this team in the past few seasons has been its defense. They're thin at linebacker. They should be strong on the defensive line. What do you expect from them Monday night? Well, the Rams need a push from their defensive front. Aaron Donald, Michael Brockers, Robert Quinn, those guys need to really step up. Blaine Gabbert, a quarterback at San Francisco, he has some escapability, but the Rams have to put pressure on him and force him into mistakes. It will be the Rams' first game with the title of Los Angeles on their jersey in 21 seasons. What kind of start they need to get off? Obviously, they need to beat the San Francisco 49ers, but the first five of their seven games will be on the road. How do they need to be received by Los Angeles? Well, I think a lot's going to depend on how they perform in these first couple games. San Francisco is an NFC West division opponent. So is their number two opponent, the Seattle Seahawks. If the Rams can go to San Francisco and really beat a team that they should beat, come back with some momentum and then play the Seahawks, that's going to be a very different scenario than if they come back with a loss. The exhibition season is finally over. I know we're happy about that. I'm sure Jeff Fisher <laughs> is happy about that. Gary and I will be in Santa Clara on Monday night to bring you the latest with the Rams, so be sure to keep it on the Los Angeles Times.